hey what's happening so you know i'm in financial situations as in i'm claiming benefits and everything um went to the job center um because i need them to refer me to go to a job job bank to go to a food bank a food bank is a place where you can get food for people that are on low income and that are claiming benefits and everything so this is my first time because I realise now I'm on budget with the benefits I'm not getting much money it's not the best and I realise I need to budget and I need travel money to go to A and B I can get a discount on travel after 13 weeks on benefits I'm only I've only been claiming since January so got a little bit longer to go but yeah, I don't know if I can record inside because you know people want discretion and all that stuff. But like I say, my first time, I must take advantage of the situation. Not advantage, thinks it's there for me, you know. And like I say, when you've got a budget, you've got a budget. So if anything is available for free, free service that will help me, might as well take it. So it's nearby my house. A little bit late actually so hopefully there's still some good food there i don't know what it's like there because the first time i've gone there like i've just said but yeah i'll show you what i got in the next clip and maybe you might see some clips of me inside the place but um yeah see how it goes yeah so i couldn't film in there because um there's a lot of people in the room and everything and discretion like i said so i got one bag here and I've got another bag on my shoulder and I'll show you what I got when I get home so yeah I'm a bit nasal I've got allergies yeah so it's like the weather's cold as well it's supposed to be spring and it's cold but yeah when I get home I'll show you what I got so yeah so I am back home now I'm going to show you in the next clip what I got from the food bank Um, just some information um when you're on benefits and you like to get food vouchers from the job center you can only get you're only entitled to it three times within a space of six months so this is my first time so i'm hoping that i don't need it again but you just never know and yeah they are plenty around just i'm guessing you need to go to the resource to find out where they are because i don't really know where they are you can do an internet search on um food banks and if you need like referrals from people and all that stuff as well like i said i got my food bank food bank voucher from my job center because i'm claiming benefits it's called universal credit but it is aka job seekers allowance so yeah that's how i got it and like i said when you're on budget but you're spending money like you've got money you have got money and you've not got money you kind of realize that yeah any any little thing kind of helps so to say because like i said with travel when i said travel in my previous clip i meant like travel expenses you know like going on public transport you know getting a bus from a to b getting a tube from a to b getting a train from a to b that kind of thing not travel like to other countries i wish i could do that yeah but no not traveling like that but traveling by public transport because that does cost money as well and like i said hopefully i can get a discount rail discount travel card after 13 weeks of being on benefits but let's see if i get a job before that or not i don't know but i know that's there if i do reach to the 13 weeks of being on benefits um yeah it was a it was an okay process it was kind of weird to me going to this building and then someone coming to me and i was so rude i asked the man um um who are you can i get your id they looked a bit like he didn't have no id badge that he worked in the center that i went to so he looked like a normal person so to say so i had to ask him who are you um do you have any id and he showed me his id as well which is so funny but i think that they should by right wear name badges maybe they don't wear a name badge because they want to blend in with the people that are there but yes easy process filled out a form when well, he went through what's available and i said yes or no and i think i'm gonna add that form in this video somewhere so that it's i would say it's not a luxurious 
selection it's a basic selection but you're gonna see after me talking here what i got and you know what to be honest i can't complain most of the things i got here i'm gonna use so thank goodness for that and it will stop me from having to buy some food for a couple more days and everything it's just a traveling side of life right now that i need to travel to go a to b and all that but such is life i'm not complaining i'm thankful you know what i could have like put my head in the sand with situations and everything but then i realized i do need help so like i said if it's there and it's available and i can get it then yeah should, should i be embarrassed that i went to a food bank not really i'm gonna have discretion towards it because i don't want you really to know where i went because that the people that need to know where it is will, will know where it is people that don't need to know where it is you don't need to know where it is so to say if you understand what i'm saying but um yeah i think that is it i'm tired as well and i've got an event to go to later as well but such is life in it march brexit talk is still going brexit talk is still going ahead this woman I blame her a little bit because people are panicking not much jobs around cutbacks everywhere i'm hoping april things will get better new financial year new budget new money hopefully the brexit would have been sorted out by april and everything hopefully there'll be more jobs available in april because i know coming up to summer there will be plenty of jobs but just that i want i'm looking for a permanent job not just a temporary job with zero hour contract and zero hour contract is like they got work one minute they got no work another minute and put it zero hour contract you're not stuck to a number like say you got a contract of 10 hours you know you're getting 10 hours a week zero hour contract that means if there's work available you might get it you might not get it so with that but yeah listen to me rambling on <laughs> i ramble a lot more on my podcast let me drop that in as well because i think i talk more about situations and stuff on my podcast which is talks with missy b london I'm all i'm on all the listening platforms spotify apple podcasts um <laughs> podbeam um anchor fm tune in there are so many other platforms. Like, you know what? Just search the name Talks with Missy B London and you'll find it. And I'll put the link somewhere as well. And I'll put some information in the description box about the services available and all that stuff as well. And yeah, I think that will be it for this video. I know it's kind of different. And I was thinking if I should do a video on this or not. But you know what? It's reality right now, so why am I gonna lie about it for? I'm not there's nothing to me actually to lie about this, so let me do it. But I do it with discretion, like I said, I did it film in the place. The forms that you're gonna see, I've like blocked out details because I just want to see the layout of the form and everything. The form as in the food voucher form and everything. But yeah, apart from that, my face is shiny, I need to wash my face again, my gosh. But yeah, apart from that, thank you for watching. And like I said, after me talking, you're going to see what I got from the food bank. And like I say, thank you for watching again. I keep on saying that as well. And yeah, that's it for now. Goodbye. Hey, so I thought I'll just do like a product showing video than to be me talking in front of the camera to show you what i got at the food back that food back at the food bank that i went to today i got these two extra things they've got like a in the corner they had this little area where they had like stuff in when you can just help yourself to as well and you know this is needed so I got this. I didn't want to get too much. I didn't want to seem like I'm greedy because other people need it as well. And biscuits. It just had a lot of sanitary stuff products there and um, biscuits and some canned stuff as well. So this is separate. But these are the two bags that they packed for me. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you what's inside the bags right now. So the first, and I hope the lighting is good, is coffee. <laughs> i'm not a big fan of coffee 
but coffee is needed for you know to keep you awake and lifestyle blah 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 so yeah it was either tea or coffee and like I said I'm not a tea person so I just chose the coffee so here's the coffee literally going through this bag doing this video right now because I've not gone through it yet like I said I just got home so yeah this tin is okay carrots tinned carrots yeah they don't do fresh food they don't do like fresh meat everything is in cans or packaging to you know for a long life so to say so this is carrots tin of carrots i know it's basic isn't it? <laughs> but it's useful this okay another tin of carrots and you know what i like carrots but i like crunchy carrots but this would be good in something that i make as well so yeah so be it <sighs> the next is let me just open this up a little bit cereal wait let me just turn it around cereal alpen no added sugar swish swish swiss muesli swiss style muesli if i pronounced muesli right i can't pronounce muesli i don't know it's a cereal anyway so yeah good size that's the size so yeah the next thing is oh and they do toiletries but not a lot of toiletries it just depends if they get a lot of donations or not but toiletry as in you know i showed you the sanitary product before and the this camera is a bit slow because the lighting in here is bad but the dove roll on hopefully you can see it yeah dove roll on there it is you know because we need toiletries as well you know everything costs money so if like i said if you can get help and getting these stuff it helps a little bit when you're on budget but the next thing is yes italian chopped tomatoes in tomato juice oh that's cool like i said this these products are kind of basic but you can still make stuff with it so yeah this is good my arm hurts already and it's not even the camera arm it's the arm that i'm using to um take out the products the next product is product the food is vegetable soup okay vegetable soup like i said there's a lot of canned stuff in there because canned food lasts long so yeah canned food it is vegetable soup that will come in handy when you want a quick snack when you're feeling peckish and everything so yeah okay <laughs> heinz bolognese is that so i've got two spaghetti bolognese that's like spaghetti in tomato sauce. I've not had this for a long time, to be honest. But that can be a snack. That can be bread or other food and everything as well. So, yeah. Ouch, my arm hurts. But I've got to continue filming this way, though, because I couldn't bother to do face camera because I didn't really want to. But, yeah. The next is fine cut orange marmalade in a jar, as you can see. So, yeah. And you know what, I was thinking to get like jam or something like that. So let me try this on my bread. So yeah. And we're getting close to the end of this bag. Okay. We got a tin food tin fish. <laughs> we got what is it? Sardine? Tin sardines. Okay, tin sardines. Okay. Is it it just says sardines, yeah. Didn't say what kind of fish, but it's sardine. I see chocolate. Wait. I see that as well. Snacks. Kit Kat. There you go. That's good. That's nice. You know, I like my chocolate, so. Yeah. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my arm hurts. <laughs> the next is smooth orange juice in a carton long life orange juice there you go that's what i got for sainsbury's i think sainsbury's must be the people that um donate the food because if i'm seeing a lot of okay now nah, maybe some other people as well the next thing is chicken tikka masala okay this is a chicken in a tin okay i've never tried chicken in a tin like this but hey i have eaten curry so yeah let me see yeah i hope the camera picks this up now 
Okay, there you go. That is the first bag. Oh, my arm hurts. Shall I switch camera arm? Yes, I will. Oh, so this is, as you can see, that bag. So the first thing from this, okay, wait. I think it's like snacks. It says chocolate coated macadamia honey nougat. Okay, it's literally snacks. I know the light is a bit, but yeah, it's a snack, chocolate snack. Okay, this is all right. <sighs> Next is, okay, shower gel. That's what I'm saying they do have toiletries as well. So this is shower gel. Hopefully this camera picks it up. Shower gel. There you go, it's got a hook on it as well. So you can hook it on stuff. But yeah, okay. Next is, okay, tin fruit. It is the peach halves. Peach halves. I've not had peach for a long time as well. Light syrup, in light syrup. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh. Oh gosh, this is hard work, man. My God, maybe I should have done it the other style. Oh, oh, the bag is nearly dropping as well. Pasta, normal spaghetti pasta. Who's it from? Tesco's. Can the camera pick it up though? No, because the camera is being silly as usual. But yeah, this is pasta, as you can see. Don't drop on the floor. <laughs> hey. This is another pasta, well, spaghetti. It's pasta, spaghetti, pasta, spaghetti. It was on their list as pasta, that's why I say pasta, but it is, it is spaghetti. This is Domio pasta sauce. Yes, pasta sauce. Okay, you know, pasta sauce, you put on your pasta, you put on your minced meat or whatever you wanna put your pasta sauce on. I was gonna say something else there, but it's like I think I was getting myself confused. Okay, we got some milk chocolate digestive biscuits as well. So yeah, okay, that's all right. We got toothpaste. Oh, it's a small one though, but we got toothpaste. <laughs> Cause I was thinking it might be like the normal size toothpaste. This camera, pick it up. Wait. I apologise if it's blurry, it's that I can't bother to bring the lighting in here and the setup and everything. It's just like, I just want to go through this stuff and then put it in the cupboards and everything. But yeah, that's, this is the toothpaste, Colgate toothpaste. And the camera's just not picking it up because it just wants to be annoying. Oh, wait, there you go, the Colgate toothpaste. <laughs> yep, next item is... mandarin segments yes i got that word right mandarin segments mandarin is like ne nectarines it's in the orange family but it's the small ones like satsumas but yeah okay oh bro. this is long i think i talk too much you know literally but yeah here is another tin of soup vegetable soup from sainsbury's okay that's all right Oh, don't drop because I can't stop this now. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh, another carton of Italian chopped tomatoes in tomato juice. Okay, that's all right. What is the sell by? Okay, says so. This wait, the camera's not gonna pick it up, is it? Yeah, literally you're not going to pick it up. Sorry about that. It says the 9th, as in September 2019. And they do toilet paper as well. They put it in a bag because not just going to give me a whole pack of toilet paper. But here is like two rolls, which is useful because you need it. It's a necessity when you've got a house and you need to go to toilet. Yeah, there you go. Two loo rolls it is. <laughs> I know this is a bit of a long one, isn't it? My gosh. But yeah, I'm going to show a picture of this afterwards. 